Hey guys, I'm Ryo Takahashi. I'm a cinematographer, director based in Tokyo, Japan. So today gonna be talking about Ali Low Workflow with Ali Alexa Classic and Odyssey 7Q. So let's get started. So this setup is kind of old style to record the Ali Low format, but it's affordable to get the Ali Low footages uh, in this 2022. So I want to explain the procedure and um, some explanation about this Ali Low recording. I want to explain this procedure step by step. So step one is prepare your Odyssey 7Q or 7Q Plus, right? This conversion design 7Q is no longer available on the market, so maybe you want to use this one. You should rental it from the rental houses. This Odyssey 7Q rental kit has a two SSD, so you insert the SSD to the SSD slot and then go to the, this menu and then press the button and then you can set the recording format. So this is a super important. You have to set this Alexa and Ali low setting, this body, right? And then the recording trigger is a camera and then the project rate is from camera. And then you have to format before you are shooting. You have to make sure the, your card is empty, right? Then after you set this format, the preparation is done. So step number two is a connecting cable to Ali Alexa. I prepared this two cable. This is a 3G SDI cable. You put this SDI cable to the connector. This name is the SDIA. Then another cable put to the SDI B. Then your SDIA cable to the leg out one, then your SDIB cable is to the leg out two. So this is super important. So SDIA to the leg out one, and then SDIB to the leg out two. The connecting cable is kind of simple, but uh, it's important. So step three is the setting frame rate with your Alexa. Many people said the frame rate is at 23.976 in this Alexa. Once you set 23 uh, frame rate, please make sure your project frame rate is to be the same number. If you want to get the Ali low footages, you have to make sure the leg out setting from this body. Then press the menu button and then let's go to the leg holding menu and then go to the leg out right then the frame rate setting is the same number and then also that this is a super important if you want to get up to 30 fps you should set the low 3g sl setting and also if you want to get 48 to the 60 frame rate this means that you want to get the slow motion you should set the low 3g dl so SL is, it means a single link, and then DL means dual link. This is a little complicated, but um, yeah, maybe you should test beforehand uh, your you know, serious shooting. Then you said this frame rate is to be the same number, shooting frame rate and then project frame rate. Go to the home and then press the info menu and then press this FPS info. And then you have to make sure these number is the same number, right? So this is super important. Okay, so you can record the Ali low footages from this body and then press the dislike button. And then this, I put the my SYS card into this Alexa body and then hit the like button and start like coding to the internal uh, SYS card. And also the like out signal is to the Odyssey 7Q and then you can get the Ali low footages into the Odyssey SSD and then this is a little uh, important notice but you should set this recording trigger the camera setting okay you press the like button and then this 
Odyssey automatically start like coding. This Odyssey start while coding. This um, menu bar is to be the red color. So this means just start to like coding and then hit the another like button. Hit color is to be black. And then you want to check the your clips. Press this rec and then play button and then let's go to the uh, bottom menu and then press the play button and then play back in this monitor. This is yeah, this is super easy to use. If we want to get the Ali low slow motion footages, maybe you have to change the frame rate. Okay, so in this case, I want to set the 48 frame rate and then go to the project frame rate. But there is no number the same 48 number, but it's okay. You set this 23 number, all right? There is now the frame rate setting is the different number, but it's okay. And then let's go to the menu and then go to the like coding. And you go to the like out. You have to set the row 3G duo link. So it appears this number 48 to the 60. Then you set the 48. It's done. So this frame rate setting is little, little complicated because in the modern cinema camera is more easily change the frame rate, directly change the frame rate, but um, this Alilo workflow is a little complicated. And then once you set this 48 frame rate, Odessa is get the signal from this Alexa and then you can record the same workflow. Press the like button and then Odessa start recording. If you need the slow motion, this is a little complicated, but um, Odessa 7Q didn't record 2D one SSD. So if this if you set the 48 or the 60 frame rate and you want to get the slow motion, the Odyssey record across these two SSDs. So this is a little complicated, but um, this is going to be a problem for the impost production. So I want to explain this import process. This Odyssey SSD has a specific these leader and then you connect this card leader to the your PC then you can import the footages from this SSDs this is my kind of advice and this is my recommendations but before you import your Alilo footages into your you know, SSD or the HDD you have to create the two folders to bins beforehand you're importing right i always create ssd1 and ssd2 folder i connect the ssd1 so i import and i copy and paste my clips to the ssd1 folder after that i import this another ssd2 and then if you record the normal flame rate i mean the 23 0.98 or the 30 frame rate. Yeah, it's okay. You can import this folder to the in DaVinci Resolve other you know software, but there is a problem to import the slow motion like a 48 frame rate or the 60 frame rate. As I mentioned that this Odyssey 7Q records the across the two SSDs. The one frame is to be an uh, SSD1 and the another next frame is to be, uh, you know, SSD2. So you have to combine this SSD1 data and SSD2 data. Uh, my recommendation is to move the SSD2 frame to the SSD1 folder, right? Prefix file name is the same. So you easily move to the SSD to the SSD1. After you create these things, you can import to the DaVinci Resolve, as you can see, all right? So yeah, it's kind of complicated, but uh, 
Can, can you understand that? <laughs> no. um, and I found the documentation from online platform. So I put this explanation documentation link in my description. So uh, so far it's so nice, but this setting is this importing and um, shooting the workflow is annoying a little bit. So if you are in the land and again situation, I didn't recommend this Ali low uh, recording by using this kind of external recorder. So if you are in, if you plan to use the Ali Alexa, and if you want to get the Ali low, you should go to the Alexa mini or more higher um, modern Alexa cameras. This type of process is a little, you know, stressful in the shooting and in post-production process. So thank you for watching. I hope this video helped your Ali low filmmaking. So see you in the next video. Bye.